Tonight, a mother whose daughter was killed in a mass shooting is turning her grief into action. Lori Al-Hadef lost her daughter Alyssa in the Parkland school shooting last year. She spoke with WBZ's Louisa Moeller about the change that she says needs to happen now. Alyssa was beautiful, vivacious, amazing, teenager, loved boys, loved the beach. Lori Al-Hadef has the daily pain of talking about her daughter in the past. Just miss her very much. 14-year-old Alyssa was gunned down in her high school classroom in Parkland, Florida last year, plunging Lori into a club she never wanted to join. My brother was murdered. Her daughter was murdered. Cold-blooded. That shared grief brought Lori to the Ipswich Country Club Monday for a charity golf tournament in honor of Saugus police officer Harold Vitali, killed in the line of duty in 1985. He was the guy that if you, were, you broke down on the side of the road in upstate Maine, he moonlighted as an auto mechanic and he'd rent a tow truck and he'd drive to Maine and tow you back. In 12 seconds or less. Both families promoting Enforce, an app allowing teachers and others to alert police as soon as there's a threat in their building. The real time threat alert notification system. It's a software app designed to reduce police response time to a critical event at a school. And the event, disturbingly timely. After mass shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio over the weekend. There's a lot of people that have died and my heart goes out to those families. More than a year since Alyssa's death, Lori says now, finally, there needs to be change. It can be inspired, she says, by the people who are channeling their grief into action. Our legislators need to come together and compromise and come up with some solutions that are going to make a difference and make an impact so we don't continue to have school shooting after school shooting or shooting after shooting. It needs to stop. In Ipswich, Louisa Moeller, WBC News.